My name is Dave Mayo. I'm a full-time resident of Kirtland, Ohio. We're at one of uh, our farms in Ashtabula County, Ohio. This is um, the smaller of the two farms that we own. We're in Plymouth Township. The uh, farm that uh, we have that's down the road in Sheffield Township is uh, our property that um, has the easement on it. The farm we're sitting on right now is only eight acres. There's no easement on it. It's an eight acre working farm with, as you can see, a horse pastures in the back. Beehives in the front. And a garden off the side. Your biggest challenge is gonna to be to keep the black bears out of the beehives, out of the garden. I was looking in Ashtabula County for at least a year. I looked at countless properties uh, and I walked them, spent a huge amount of time doing that. Just by chance, I, I came across this property, 90 acres, 40 acres tillable land, and 40, 45 acres, maybe more, a hardwood forest that was in ideal shape. Uh, the property has two streams running through it, one south to north and one west to east. They join uh, at the edge, the northern edge of the woods for the property. It's rolling, it's hilly, and it's just gorgeous. I fell in love with it. Turkey hunting is one of my favorite things to do. I also love walking the property. The property is just gorgeous. It's a little tough to walk right now because of the um, uh, the wetness we've been having out here. It gets buggy, I mean really buggy uh, this time of year, so you have to spray up when you're going through there. But it's just a delight to uh, walk it. My neighbors walk, I love walking it with me because it's so much fun to walk. I don't know what GAR stands for, something possibly with the revolution, American Revolution, 1942. I wish I knew more about the history of the property. I can go back to um, the 1920s. A prior owner, after I bought, uh, the, bought the big farm, the property that has the easement on it, contacted me uh, because there was something in the paper about transferring. He asked whether he could um, uh, come walk the property with me. He told me he was born on the farm. There used to be a farmhouse there. Um, he was born there in 1922. His name was uh, Cecil Lewis. He told me uh, quite a bit about the property. He walked the property with me. Grew up there as a youngster farming it, starting in 1922 when he was born. Uh, the property was sold. Uh, he regretted that his father sold it in 1947. Uh, it was used for farming. Uh, and also for, um, they raised cattle. After Cecil's family sold it, Harlan Baldwin, I believe, acquired it. He's a local farmer who's now retired. His son, Matt, um, uh, farmed it for many years, even after I acquired it, uh, the, the, the tillable land. Uh, and the Baldwins sold it, I think, in the 70s to a family by the name of the Whites. I acquired it from the Whites. Uh, so went from Cecil Lewis to the Baldwins to the Whites uh, to myself. My favorite part of the farm is the woods. I enjoy the woods, there's absolutely no question. Uh, the tillable land's okay and it's nice to see that it's, it's being utilized for that purpose, but there's some just very gorgeous, very peaceful, very pristine 
uh, uh, wooded areas. Uh, there's a, a high area that has uh, hemlocks um, and other uh, uh, big trees overlooking one of the creeks that I talked about. It's just a pristine place to, to sit and relax. It's almost a religious experience for me. I think it's very important to protect land like um, I own. Uh, it's an easy, easy thing to talk about. I don't want anybody cutting my, my, my trees. I don't want the property developed. I wish I could be around 200, 300 years from now to see how it develops, see how it morphs. It'd be just my dream to be able to walk through that forest 300 years from now and look at um, a property that's been allowed to be preserved for 300, 350, 400 years. It would just be fantastic. And that's not gonna happen, obviously, but hopefully my descendants, my ancestors, and people in the area will be able to enjoy it uh, as I think it should be enjoyed. I think uh, a conservation easement is a wonderful way, as far as I know, it's the best way to preserve property. Unless something dramatic happens, uh, easements uh, should be in place in perpetuity, and it's the, the best way I'm aware of to protect a property like mine and other properties. I think it's incumbent upon people like myself to do everything they possibly can to uh, preserve as much land as possible for our children, for our ancestors, and for those that come uh, after us. And if we don't do that, we're, we're going to lose something that we can't regain. Oh my God, owning a piece of property is, was one of the best things I've ever done. No regrets whatsoever. Love owning land, love being able to uh, protect the land, preserve the land, and make sure it's gonna stay in the condition that it's in. That's why I put the, the easement on the property. So it's an important part of my life.